Hey guys, thanks for joining me. My name is Rob from Stop Time. Hey, today we're going to look at the Lionel number 53 Rio Grande Snowplow. This was a cool, cool unit. It was in the 57 catalog. Now, when you look at these little motorized units, what you look, this one has what they call a broken strut. That's real common on these. And I deliberately show, I wanted to show you, people have a tendency when they pick them up, the kids would want to grab them here. So when you're looking at this, this would be a good unit to run on your layout, but as far as for collectability, it does have a broken strut. And you also have to watch that sometimes people will go in there and they made a repair and they'll repair the strut. So if you're buying this as a collector's piece, you wanna make sure that you have the original strut, which is not broken. If you don't care and you just wanna run it, these are fine. But the motorized units were a lot of fun. I love collecting these. Like I said, this was 57. The other odd thing about the number 53 Rio Grande was, is if you look real closely, the, the A in grand is backwards, and that was a mistake Lionel made. And they didn't catch that till late in production, and then they corrected it, and the A is right. So there's two variations. There's what they call the backward A, which is this one, and there's a the correct A. And I, you would think that the backward A would be the rare one, but actually it's the common one. So when you look at that, that's what you look for. When you look at these motorized units, besides the struts, which I'm pointing out, another common problem with these is that the people have a tendency to over tighten these and bust the shell that way too. So you wanna look at that. But these are a really cool little piece. I think they are, like I said, Lionel really was imaginative and had their act together. And this actually is a kind of a prototypical thing on the rail rail that they did use with the snow plow. So again, this is the Lionel number 53 Rio Grande. It was made from 1957 to 1960. Uh, good piece and uh, I like I really enjoy them, and it's a part of the collecting that uh, it's fun to it's fun to do. Hey, if you're ever in the Akron, Ohio area, give me a call 330-825-4206. I'm at Stop Time in Norton, Ohio. I have three levels of new and used Lionel trains. I'm a value added dealer. I've been a dealer for over 20 years. I do uh, repairs and I also buy and sell. So, uh, and as Lionel said, it's an investment in happiness. So, happy model railroading. Thanks.